It's been a while since we first met. Mm, time is irrelevant. <laughs> and we don't remember you at all. <laughs> Because this moment is new. And you were never this. And we were never this. Cool. We weren't this before that. This combination of co-creation has never been before. The evolution is extraordinary. Yeah. So I teach prosperity, and I'm wondering, is there a difference for you between abundance and prosperity vibrationally? The application of the word is uh, the difference, is not significant. Uh, it's easier to see abundance in all things than it is prosperity in all things, but really the words could be interchangeable. It all depends upon how uh, those that you are interacting with are feeling it. In other words, the basis of abundance, if you, if you can get someone to acknowledge the abundance that surrounds them, just the fact that the sun is moving around like it is, The, the fact that it is warming you as it is, that is an abundance factor that humans contemplate rarely. And yet it is enormously significant. The balance of your planet, the way it moves in its orbit with other planets, in, in, incredibly important. And the, the, the value of that cannot even be measured in human terms. But you could focus in appreciation on that abundance and you could awaken within you a vibration that then would allow it to flow in, in all kinds of other ways. Mm. Esther was visiting with a friend on the telephone the other day. Someone who has been a close friend who has been experiencing some sadness. And as Esther was listening to her, after, after quite a few conversations, Esther is sitting in Texas overlooking the pool and the beautiful trees and sitting in front of these big big windows and feeling appreciation for her experience and listening to her friend and her friend sounded so wise oh, Esther was just shivering with enthusiasm for the way her friend sounded she didn't even think her friend had any idea how far she'd come so fast and how wise she was being in this moment. So Esther waited. She was sort of on a rampage, her friend, and so Esther waited, not wanting to interrupt it. But, and then just at this moment, when her friend finally took a breath, Esther said, Oh, you sound so wise. And her friend said, What? She couldn't hear the word. Esther said, Wise. What, 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 what word are you saying? Wise. And at that moment, an owl, a giant owl flew over the pool into the courtyard circled once and landed in the tree right on the other side of Esther's pool and just looked at her just looked at her for a minute or two Esther could not get a word out and when she did she was panting and screaming her friend said is something the matter and Esther said no we just received confirmation from the universe of your wisdom In other words, they have been talking about the Sarah books. They've been talking about Solomon. They've been talking about this giant owl. Esther didn't even know she had an owl on the 40 acres. She's not seen it before. But for that timing, in that moment to come, you will never convince Esther that there is not non-physical intervention, aware of where you are in all moments, ready to reveal to you whatever abundance. Esther has never felt richer. She's never felt more blessed. She never has felt more wonderful than she felt in that moment with that affirmation of what she was speaking, you see. And this is the way we want you to feel about abundance. We want abundance as it comes to you, whether it comes in the form of a thought or an idea or a word or an encouragement or a friend or a hug or however it comes to you. As you acknowledge the abundance, we can't separate the word abundance from the word worthy. We can't, we can't separate the word abundance from the word worthy and well-being. It's just the achieving of a state of being that lets, right where I am, the best stuff in to punctuate where I am right now. And oh, the universe has the ability to punctuate in ways that you will know it's punctuating, not in generalities. This was not just a, a freakish circumstance. This was not just a funny convergence of an owl flying by and decided to stop by and stare into Esther's heart. 
It was not, there was nothing about it that was not orchestrated, that was not co-created, that was not evidence of that kind of abundance, you see. You've got vibrational abundance. You've got universal intelligence. You've got vibrational abundance. You've got more non-physical energy and clarity backing you up. You could not be richer, you see. But you've got to find a vibration that allows you to translate it into meaningful things for you. And, and, and we think a pile of money is a paltry, puny evidence of the abundance that is there. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. But it doesn't buy owls. And is, <laughs> is, is that where uh, most people get tripped up around abundance and prosperity is they associate money to it primarily? Yeah, mostly. But mostly it's because they associate what isness with it. They're taking score. They're taking score of what they have, what they own, what their assets are, what their debts are, what they can buy. So they're making it all about manifestation instead of about vibration. Mm, nice. You have to make it about feeling and about vibration. That's why we said, what does abundance feel like? What does it, what does it, what, well, it would feel like, it feels like being blessed. It feels like being able. It feels like being capable. It feels like being able to do what you want to do. It, but but if it feels like not having to do what you don't want to do, that's not abundance. If it feels like not having to live someplace you don't want to live, that's not abundance. Mm -hmm. But it, it feels like that and that and that and that. For a while, we were encouraging a creation box. Just get some sort of a container and tear out pictures of things or write notes to yourself, things that represent how you want to feel. And Esther found her, one of her creation boxes the other day. She hadn't looked through it in a long time. And it was very pleasant to look through it and remember the feeling that the picture produced and then to see in her own experience the manifestations all around her. In such specific detail, it, it shook her up for a little while. It made her, it made her feel, it shook her up in the sense that it made her realize the power of focus, the power of desire, the power of an inspired action, but most of all, the power and the desire and the compassion of non-physical energies to support you in whatever matters to you. That's why we say it's, abundance is tied in with worthiness. Because if you're not letting it in, it doesn't matter how much is lined up outside your door. You've got to figure out how to get the door open.